Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in Tarot Land. This is your girl, Zengaya, the Zen Libran. And I'm here again with you guys to decode some spells. Let's use our third eye, ladies. Let's use our magic to decode these spells. So a lot can be revealed to us, ladies, about the trickery that's going on behind the scene. But all you have to do, ladies, is open your eyes. We are the ruling class, ladies. We are the Anunnaki. And we are here. We need to return. We need to return. Mother Earth is crying out for us, ladies. And the Divine Feminists, we need to take our seats. But it's so much against us that we're unconscious to. And I'm here to make us conscious. So open your eye. Open your spiritual eye, ladies. Let's use our magic. Let's decode the spells. Look at this little ditty we have here today. Matrimony. Hmm. Everybody wants to have matrimony. Everybody wants to be in love. But do you really know what the word matrimony means? I'm going to let the word speak for itself. All right, ladies. Let's decode these spells. All right. Matrimony. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's check it out, ladies. The word matri. What does that mean, ladies? It means mother. So simple. So easy. Just look it up, ladies. And it'll be all in your face. All in your face. Okay. Not a long word. Pretty simple, right? Matri. Money. <laughs> okay, it's the second part of the word. I told you that the vowels are interchangeable. Sometimes they put a lot of them in there and sometimes they take them out. You know, they do that to try to confuse you, to hide things, it's for things to be hidden, but right in your face. That's what they do, guys. You know? So we know what money means, don't we, ladies? It means assets, property, resources, wealth. Interesting, huh? Yeah. See, before it was a patriarchy, this land was a matriarchy. This was when this, this, this land, this plain was in its golden age. That's when we had the dynasties in Atlantis. It's when the matriarch ruled. When the mother ruled. And the matriarchy is a system of government which was ruled by the women. Okay? So the men didn't have anything. We had it all. They are something that derived from us. You know, a man is just um, a woman with who's all their parts don't work. <laughs> you know, a, a degenerated woman. You know? So we were here, placed on this land, of this land, ran by women. Yeah. We control the system of government, okay? So the man didn't have anything to, to give, to control, or to have. The woman had it all, okay? So that's why they have to get you in matrimony. Okay? It's just a contract. It's a business contract. See, when we got... Um, I don't want to say married, I, you know, when we were stepped divinely, you know, stepped in front of the divine, we had spiritual ceremonies, you know, we binded ourselves underneath the divine, you know, look at, um, um, avatar and that's how we chose who we were going to be with people. Okay, it was something spiritual, not a business contract, not something that you have to buy a license for to pay, you know. So matrimony is an easy word. Basically. Matrimony means the mother's wealth, the mother's assets, the mother's property, the mother's resources. That is why. Pocahontas, she was spiritually in uh, 
a relationship with someone. She even had a son before she left. She got married when she was like 15. I don't want to say married, but she got spiritually connected to her partner, to her consort, when she was 15 years old. They even had a son, okay? But in order for that John guy to get control of her assets and her property because she had the land, she had the wealth, she had the resources, he had to capture her. He had to take her and kidnap her, guys. Okay? And put her in a marriage contract so that he could come back over here and lay claim to her land. Okay? She was forcefully taking people. So that Disney picture about them running through the fields and all that is a crock of shit. You know? She was taken. And put into a business contract so he could take the mother's wealth. So he could take the mother's assets. So he could take the mother's property. So he could take the mother's resources. Does it still look like a beautiful word now, ladies? Because all it means is the mother's wealth. The mother's assets. The mother's property. The mother's resources. That's why they got into this polygamy type thing. Because the more women that they had, you are the resources, ladies. The more they had, everything began and it ends end with us, ladies. So we need to turn the focus on ourselves and heal ourselves so we can get this world back in tune. When the matriarchs ruled, okay? But this is not a beautiful thing, ladies. If you want to get connected to someone, have a spiritual ceremony. Don't sign a business contract so the masculine can have claim to what you own, to your children, to your land, to your assets, because that's all it is. This was a way for them to take what the mother had, okay, which is the money. She is the asset. She is the resource. She is the property. She is the wealth. She is the mother. Okay, guys? So that's all matrimony is, guys. That's why they had to pay a dowry. Um, the, the parents paid a dowry and gave it to the masculine when they married. You know? That's why the the father, the woman's parents pay for everything because she has all the money. Until she enters into matrimony. And the masculine has is entitled to it. Lays claim to it. Because he's connected with her. Okay? So just remember. Mother. Matri. When you get married. You're turning over your money and your assets. You're giving up the mother's wealth to the masculine. So, here comes the bride. <laughs> here comes the bride. Know thyself, ladies. Please know thyself. And let's get out of the predicament that we're in. Let's get back on our throne. Let's reclaim what's ours. I love you all, ladies. And just remember, you're the mother. You have the money. You are the asset. I love you guys. Ladies, please know yourself so we can turn it all around. Until my next video. Bye-bye.